Hello everyone. So as you may have guessed from the title, this is a will be a very long video. So this is about the development update for July 2021. So now this video will be covering a lot of information. Okay, so just to very quickly recap, these changes include um, membership changes, free rewards, with daily logins. So every time you log in as a free member or premium player or even as a membership player you get free rewards the more you play or the more you log in every day so this is kind of similar to stuff like call of duty mobile the more matches you play the more greater rewards you get okay and so let's begin with uh, first if you do if you do not read the whole update here is what you need to know episode 41 will launch this august and then episode 41 will be a non non-traditional episode with emphasis on new features alongside content new membership and access level details are here with that said let's catch up on what we have been working on so just a previous week up we're talking about episode 40 that was launched with the new phase ui switch where you could phase with um your players or your teammates and everything Okay, and then they went over new style rewards with bonus weeks with the word of Flashpoint and Devil Superman. And new episode rewards which are permanent, okay, and this is like the go ahead which they will carry on doing um, bonus weeks for future episodes. So this will be like a norm now from um, from now where we will get bonus weeks every so often with new rewards, with new styles, even for older episodes. So even older content will still need to be replayed for these new rewards with new feet. So um, previously, previously at Dimension Inc. So all the teams have worked a lot on episode 41. We, we will get to the specifics in the moment. But this next release has dominated our time. So you may remember from our last update, the engineering had begun a major performance task related on how we handle text strings flying all around the servers. The team made nearly a thousand code changes and we're looking forward to rolling these performance gains out with episode 41. So the teams are also completed upgrades to our build infrastructure and hardware, meaning we can roll out new versions of the game internally faster for more iteration and more time for quality assurance testing. So beyond episode 41, the art and design teams kept pace with plans for the next time capsules, resurgence, booster bundles, and as well and as well for upcoming fall and winter seasonal events. So much to do, so little time. So next on DC Universe Online, July slash September. So we will see continued bonus weeks like I mentioned before, and new rewards, and new booster bundle, new resurgence, Batman Day celebrations and more. And of course free episodes, new membership benefits, and episode 41, which will be called House of Legends. So with this update, episode 41, House of Legends will launch this August, so hopefully we will see this on the test server around middle slash late July. And with this episode, we will get, um, there will be content to play, rewards and gear to earn, that's as normal. And yes, we will return to a raid focused traditional episode format for episode 42 this fall. So in House of Legends, a monitor has sent out a request for assistance to superheroes and supervillains to gather in the House of Legends to prepare for imminent threat to the universe. Okay, so this is the House of Legends concept art training room, and then you have the House of Legends art archives. Okay, so new headquarters, which is nice, so just like the Watchtower. At the core of this episode, there will be a new shared hero and villain social hub for all headquarters, House of Legends. This hub will be like the Watchtower or Hall of Doom, except conventionally smaller, packed with func functionality, not confusing, but for both factions. So with this episode, we will be getting like a, another um, social hub, it's just like the Watchtower, but this will be for both heroes and villains. So now you guys can do your 
PvP wars or battles in this new hub. And of course, um, new system ally allies. So now with this new system, expand your combat potential with new system allies. Scour the universe for the most elite iconic DC characters, then enlist them as your allies. Doing so will allow you to summon them for assistance in battle. So with the new system, there will be features featured characters like Cyborg, Flash, Zoom, Flashpoint, Wonder Woman and more. Collect your favorite and level up your multiverse, multiversal connection to them, unlock powerful abilities and passive buffs. So with this new system, you will be getting um, extra buffs depending on what character you choose to go with. So I believe each one of these will have um, special passive buffs. So whether it will probably be for healers, trolls, tanks or DPSs, which will work alongside with you when you're in combat. So now, um, so each ally will have their own strengths, like I said, they can make them specially suited to your specific situations, type of content and more, and make sure you know who to call. Now, um, this is what the new UI will look like on the on duty menu, okay? So this is the revamped version, which will, will be released with episode 41, hopefully, or slash 42. So get playing, get playing faster with the new quick you play feature on the on duty menu with essential single selection. You can you can be queued for the latest latest episode, current events or current selection of almost everything in the game all at once. So now with a quick play, you can click on episodes, omnibus, save the universe, seasonal, so a lot of we go through what these are in a bit. So here it tells you what you will get as reward. So quick play or well, all episode content through event mode or normal mode. Complete all objectives to earn the following. So you can get source marks, stabilizers, and warlock contract line item. So you can see that um, playing all the episodes will now give you rewards. So let me go down and okay. You will not be forced to use quick play. Existing on the duty function functionality will remain. Where we accept you, you will want to most of the time. So a new approach to pass content, which is called Omnibus. So now play play pass content in an entirely new way. While episodes are mostly about end game content, House of Legends emphasizes emphasis on systems has allowed us to look at the whole game, as in at not end game too. So what to define as not end game? Anything. You play for source mark instead of unique for episode currency. Put other ways, anything but our latest free episodes or anything but our latest year of content. So comp combat rating relevancy, relevancy will be removed from the game period and loot lockouts will be removed as well for not end game content. So that is awesome. So there will be normal replay badges for the older episodes we can play these again and again and again and then play the whole game earn rewards and free important notes not not to end game content will always offer full source marks rewards which is nice not to end game content will start clamp you down so the content isn't completely trivial and game content will no longer reward source marks okay so combat rating relevancy will be removed from the game now let me address these last two. You will not feel weak when you return to your not end game end game content because it did say that they will start clamping you down. In opening up the entire non not end game content to literally endless play, we strongly believe the experience will be much more fun for everyone if the content plays somewhat similar to how it was designed. You will not be hurting you will not be hurting your source marks. In open up entire not end game literally limitless source marks rewards. We strongly believe that these systems as a whole will make much more sense to everyone in the future and it will be clear divide between what reward source marks and what does not. This is doubly or so this is doubly so in it will okay um okay so the removal of combat rating in the game so the node content will still have a minimum CR requirements or characters will still progress through the game. So even though they're removing this we still need a minimum CR um, requirement to enter that specific episode. Okay, 
So about Omnibus, which is the old content, um, endless replays, one of the quick play options on duty will be called Omnibus, as you can see from this picture, right there as an option. And, and choosing it will queue you for a curated selection of nearly everything and not end game content that you are eligible to play. If you just want to, if you just want the next available gear for source marks or for completing the new weekly quick play missions, much smash the quick play button. If you want to play a specific piece of content, queue up for it, and you will find a group faster from everyone else smashing the quick play button. The addition of quick play means all players will find each other quicker. This will be a new era for DCU DC Universe Online. Okay. So now, as you can see from the picture, there's another button called Save the Universe. So this is a new content format, so in case you forgot to blitz some information above, House of Legends will also have a content to play in the form of Save the Universe. So this system will present past content favorites of level to end content and game with combat rating requirements with rewards match. So you can play um, all the episodes with the current CR. That is what I'm saying, and you will get rewards. In future, Save the Universe will return to pseudo seasonal event, but in House of Legends, this content will be show will be how you earn rewards, earn episode currency, and progress your character. Three sets of Save the Universe will cycle in and out when out while this episode is the latest. The first set will feature up leveled up Superman content, second up leveled up Batman content, then the third will be Wonder Woman content. So each set of these features normal and elite versions of up leveled solo duo alert and the raid. The original not up leveled content will serve as a lower level version of the content for the episode and of the free versions will award the episode's unique currency. We will also seek to improve these instances and address bugs that will include original instance too as we run as we run the save the universe in the future. Save the Universe will not be a brand new content as seen in most episodes, but a chance, but chances that, but chances are you haven't played it in a while and that you have never played it like this. <coughs> so, new board. So all our traditional episodes will present House of Legends. This will include new gear, beats, and styles inspired by the Monitor and Tempest Fabian. So this episode will be massive undertaking after all the work, okay? So um for, look forward to the new hub. Um okay, uh no loot locks. Uh do, do, do. okay, so deep breath, please okay, so you can visit a dis discussion thread which talks about all this. I will leave a link of all these links in the comment and the description. Okay. So I will leave this part in another video, okay? So I will go through everything about the daily login rewards, new free premium and membership benefits, and access changes to everyone. So that's for premium and members as well. And then just a, another update about what's going on with the calendar. Uh, just a general update. So um, I will see you in the next video where I will go over I will go over everything below here.